Hey guys, Terra Pup here, and today we're going to take a look at the Banana Pi R3, which is a router board. And in front of me are all the items. Uh, on my uh, crafting board is the Banana Pi itself. I have the power supply, 8 in 10 i and as you can see over in the little brown boxes I have some TP links um, these are FSPs 2.5 gigahertz so that I can plug in uh, RJ45 this board does support it and we'll go over that here in a little bit I'm right now this going to show you all the hardware for it and then I have this metal case and I took a look at the metal case and I'm very impressed with it. So, this video is going to be done a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit shorter than um, my other ones. I'm going to put this board together in stages. Uh, we'll go over the specs here in a minute. And then, um, this will be part one. And then, part two two is going to be me going over the installation of the, the software. I'm going to use uh, Open uh, w, uh, TR, okay, and I am going to uh, show how to set up and get that. I'm going to do a third part where I'm going to find a G4 wireless card. One of the things that's really impressive about this board is the fact that you can hook up a wireless card and you can then be remote. And then the last one might take a while, but I'm actually going to see if I can get uh, FreeBSD running on this because I'd like to see if I can get uh, PFSense running on it. So with that, Let's go over and take a look at the specs, and then we'll uh, pull the board out and start assembling it. Okay, guys, over here at the bananapie.org page, you will find the Banana Pie BPR3 router board. And this is the board that I'll be putting together today. It comes with the MediaTek. MT7986 Low Logic um, 830. It has quad core ARM Cortex A53s plus the um, MT7531 Logic chip. It has two other chips the MT7975, which will support the uh, 2.6 gigahertz and then the MT7975P 70, which will support 5 gigahertz. There are 2 gigs of DDR memory, 8 gigs of EMC flash. There are 2 SPF um, slots that are 2.5 gigabits. And then it says it's got a 5 gigabit network port, which is the G4. So we're going to scroll down real quick. This is the board, a nice picture of it. I'll take mine out of the back here in a minute as we assemble it. Okay. Some of the applications that this board's designed for is an internet service router, a wireless router, a wireless repeater. And for those of you who don't know what that is, you can use it to extend your wireless networks. Um, when I used to work at an office, I used to have four wireless um, routers that I meshed together to, uh, to make my network. A home security gateway, home automation, can be used as a NAS device. There is an NVNE on the bottom of it. And then of course, network and communications. Real quick, we'll go from left to right. So our reset button, our ASP key. So if you need to grab a, a quick number to attach a device, 26 
uh, pins of GPIO. You can hook up two USBs. There's a header pins for that. Okay, the DDR4, two gigs of memory. There is a 12 volt connector here, so you can put power through here. Um, there's a microphone on the board, but I'm not really sure why you would need that, but okay, it's there. And then the indicator lights are all here. Then we have our 8 gigs of EMMC. And then we have the uh, MT7975N, which is for the 2. Point gigahertz. MT7986 Alpha, which is um, the main processor on the board. Okay, that, then we have the MT7975P, this is for the 5 gigahertz, and then we have the 7531 um, AE, and then we have 4 uh, gig Ethernet, we have 1 gig LAM, or LAN, depending on if you're going to you know, connect this to your modem, or if this is going to be connected directly to your internet access. There's a 5 volt band area, and as you can see, there are four mount points that you could plug a fan up with it. I did not get one, so at this time, I'm just going to use heat sinks. And then we have our SPF WAM and our SPF LAN. And you do need to have SPF connectors. Um, I got uh, TP Links 2.5 RJ45. There is one USB 3. The 12 volt, 12 amp uh, barrel jack that's right here. There's the, another connector in here for power. The toggle switch for how you're going to boot the device. The UART debugger uh, pins are here. And then here, this is really nice. And like I said, this will be done in my third video where I'm going to order a G4 card from Amera uh, Droid. They actually have one, and I'm going to put this in here, and we're going to use it remotely. Okay. Bottom of the board, our micro SD slot, the micro SIM. So when I get the uh, that G4 card, I will have to have a SIM card in there to use it. Okay. An M2 M key slot so I can put storage. So again, remember, it does say that we can use this as a NAS. So, you know, NVMe storage is coming down. The other day I saw that Micro Center, for those of you that have one here in the United States close by you, it's actually got a two terabyte for under a hundred bucks. Our 128 SPF NAD our 32 gig SPF NOR, and then the board itself is a nice little bit of uh, size, and the case that I got for it is well fitted. All right, and there's the fan that um, they show with it. I actually looked for this, and I couldn't find it, but this is pretty impressive, okay? Now, I'm going to put two links up here where you can get it from. I'm going to put Meridroid for people here in the United States. And I'm going to put AliExpress where you can order directly from Banana Pie. Okay? Now, over on the wiki, and that's another thing that's really beautiful about Banana Pie, they have a wiki page for all their boards. Okay? We are going to be using Open uh, WRP. And we'll download it. But as you go through here, it's going to show you how you can connect and boot up the boards, how you can burn your image. Okay. And this right here, um, I know they got a page where they've been talking about using Ubuntu. Um, but like I said, we are going to be using the um, open um, WR. Uh, RT for right now, okay, and this explains how you can burn it to the EMC, okay. Whoops. Ah, gotta love game mice. So here's our um, 
our wham in for 2.5 and our uh, LAN out for 2.5 and then the different uh, markings so when you bring them up you can see them okay more information I will leave the link for the wiki page but like I said this will be the OS that we're running and we will get it up you can control the fan with it I'm hoping that the heat seats are going to be enough and these are um, FPS uh, copper RGA 45s and like I said I did order those and I'll put a link from Amazon where I got those okay all right so that's it let's go ahead and go over and start assembling the uh, unit itself okay guys so here's the board it's out of the bag okay and we'll start on the back side so we have as you can see let me see if i can zoom in just a little bit there we go so we have the 2.4 gigahertz antenna connection so we have one two three four okay and then down here we have one, two, three, four of the G5. Okay. So here we have our LEDs from power. Okay. And our other connectors. Okay. Then we have uh, a mic. Okay. We have our right here. So our eight uh, gigs of EMC. We have our Wi-Fi antenna connector here. We have the main CPU here. Okay. We have the UT seventy five thirty one EAT uh, chip here. We have the two gigs of DDR2. Okay, and actually I messed up. This is the eight gigs of memory. This is the 2.5, this is the 5.5 gigahertz. So, uh, sorry for that confusion, okay? Um, then we have our USB 2.2 uh, header pins. 26 uh, GPO pins. We have our WPS key and then we have our reset button. Okay. This is where the G4 card will go. This little chart, let's turn it around and zoom in just a little bit. Let's get that straight. So with this board again you can use multiple storage okay the dip switches that are right here okay you can configure it to on how to boot so again zero is off one is on and you would flip the switches accordingly okay so on would be down so like if I was going to do okay according to this chart SD card I would go one two three four well actually okay really doesn't matter about the C switch so we can try that out later but anyway you would follow along with this okay Over here is our UAT uh, debug pins, okay. Then we have a DCN 12 volt connector. This is our barrel uh, jack. Let's go ahead and flip it around. Okay. This is our USB. 3.0 and then again we 
can go up to 2.5 uh, gigahertz. So we have the WAM and LAN. And again, that's where these would come in. All right, and you would use your SPF uh, connectors you plug in, in here, okay? And then we have a five volt fan here, okay? This is our WAM port, one gigahertz, and then we have four one gigahertz connectors, okay? So we're gonna flip this over on the bottom, okay? It's a nice little board, okay? Really impressed with it. So we can use NVMe storage here, okay? This little guy, all right? Let's turn it around so we can see it better for a second. So this is our 32 gigabit SPI uh, NOR. And this is the 128 SPI NAD. Okay. We can look at it from this direction, but our micro SD card will go here. This is where the SIM card would go. And that's pretty much it. All right, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead now, put this thing into its case, and then we'll start assembling the uh, antennas and all that. All right, this is not a paid endorsement, okay? But one of the things that's in my uh, tool set that I've really loved is the uh, iFix toolkit, okay? I've now had this thing for, oh, 10 years. I had a Mac Mini that I needed to replace a hard drive. And at the time when I purchased it, I was a little bit, um, you know, amazed at the price of it. But this tool set has, uh, as you can see, it still looks pretty good. And I got my little collection of odd screws and stuff like that. But this tool set has never let me down. And um, one of the things I keep trying to teach my son is if you take care of your tools your tools will take care of you and I fix um, I fix it your tool sets are real nice and uh, they've helped me out in many of situation okay before I put everything into the case this is the case it's really nice very uh, well designed metal I'm going to slide this off here. Okay, the board's going to sit in here. Whoops. On the hand. We've got screwdriver and screws to mount it. We have our antennae. Okay. Zoom in just a little bit, and you can see the positioning and all that. And if you need to mount this to the back, there are areas where you could put that. Okay, so a power jack, USB, the SPS, and our Ethernet. All right, let's get the board in there and we'll take a look at it. Okay, guys, so I got the motherboard in there. Okay. Again, real, lines up really nice. As you can see. Okay. So the next part is going to be to get these antenna connectors connected into the case. Okay and then connect back over here all right and then that way now one of the things you'll notice is that the uh, wires for the antennas are 
uh, kind of long. Well, these are. The official ones from Banana Pie seem like they have a good length. These were from another project I was going to do. And as here, I'll show you. So they look different. These are official Banana Pie ones. So if you look at the webpage, um, they do look like this. So I had bought these again for another another project I'm gonna hook it up where it kinda looks good I just didn't want to waste them um, as you guys heard from my uh, lab video and I'll post the link above this uh, a lot of my equipment's donated the small board stuff I do buy and um, I will uh, try to reuse whatever I can now I will give a shout out Banana Pie did ask me to uh, to take a look at this board and I am so a shout out to them and a thank you uh, I'm really excited like I said I really do want to get FreeBSD working on this board so right now we're going to continue with the antennas and try to get some uh, some wire management going all right so let's go ahead and pause again and if you guys wonder why i keep pausing i i'll take any suggestions but i'm trying to find a, uh, a video system that i can mount and record this stuff right now i use my samsung uh, phone to record a lot of this stuff because you know i'm as you guys can tell i'm not um uh, good like the uh, other YouTube content creators but I do want to share with you guys so it's a learning experience and I'm hoping that my videos are getting better and your feedback has been great and your questions have been great so please keep those going but anyway uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause and hook up the, the antennas alright I want to show you guys something real quick okay so when you put the uh, antenna mount through the board you need to make sure that you put a wa washer and the bolt okay and it'll slide through and then once you do that you can tighten it down but again make sure you get the washer and the bolt in there okay I got all the antenna connectors into the case and we will be hooking them up accordingly to their numbers so based on the uh, board itself okay five through eight this will be the G5 and one through four will be the G 2.4 gigahertz and as you can see the dip switches there's easy access to it but uh, one thing I want to point out that was kind of um, frustrated there for a second. If you try to stick these uh, connectors in, they're not really round. Uh, there's a side of it's kind of flat, and you, once you get it pushed through where it's like the flat parts are kind of parallel uh, it easily uh, goes through the case uh, I was having a little bit of difficulty I thought the uh, connectors were too big now again as you can see I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with wire management okay because these things are all over the place and one thing I didn't point out, and I'll point it now, and I may look for one. There are four mounting holes for um, for a fan and a heat sink. And I kind of wish that. I'm hoping that the aluminum case will help dissipate heat. But... Um, if I did have the uh, 
the heat sink with the fan. I would kind of worry that the antennas would hit it and get shredded. But uh, we will figure out a way to get this to work correctly. All right. Let's keep moving forward. Okay, we got our heat sinks on here. And I did a little bit more with some zip ties just to get the uh, wiring looking a little bit better. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. The heat sinks that I'm using, I'll put a link in the description. These are from Geek Pie, and that's uh, Geek with three E's. Uh, I buy a lot of accessories from them, like cases and um, heat sinks. So if you guys are looking for heat sinks with uh, a variety pack like what you see here with uh, heat of already on there, uh, I would recommend them. Okay. So now, the next thing is to get the case on there, and then we'll put the uh, antennas as well. All right, I want to point out something real quick. So there's only two screws that are hold the case together, and it's designed in such a way that the back slips in. I mean, this is a beautifully designed metal case, and I can tell you right now, it's got a bit of weight to it, but that's fine, okay? So, it looks really beautiful. So now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get the antennas on here. Okay guys, it's together, the front, we we'll put our SD in our SIM card, okay, our reset buttons, okay, the nice banana pie logo, I got the antennas, I'm kind of doing it spiked out that way. I'm, I guess you could have them all up in the air. Our power. USB, our FPSs, and LAN. Yeah, let me take out the SPSs and I'll put them in there just to show you what they look like, okay? One second. Alright, so here's one of the uh, 2.5 gigahertz SPFs out and um, as you can see I can take it and plug it in and then I can do my uh, copper connections okay so that's gonna be it for this video guys all right in the next video like I said I'm gonna be installing open WRT which you can find um, on banana pies uh, website and then after that like I said, I'm going to get a G4 card and we'll try that out as well to see how it goes. That'll be the third video. And the last video, I'm not going to make any promises, but if I do get uh, FreeBSD working on this and I can get PFSense working, uh, I'll do uh, a video with that. that that's more a personal go for me to see if I can uh, compile it and get it working on here. But that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed me putting together this Banana Pi R3. As you can see, it is a router. Banana Pi uh, has a lot of their boards that are routers. This is one of their newer projects. And it's pretty impressive. Uh, I want to thank them again for letting me try this out. And um, until the next video, guys, peace.